welcome back! Our next guest is the Queen of Fashion, Rarity! Oh, thank you for having me on your show, darling. I love the way your studio is decorated. Thank you! You designed the look. I know, and I did a fantastic job! <laughs> uh, why is your mane so uniquely styled? Because today we're talking about manes! Right, Gummy? My favorite topic! And what better pony to talk about manes than with our very own trendsetter, Rarity. Speaking of trends and manes and me, I have a new style I would love to share. <laughs> and for the final touch, just add a dash of color. A few puffs is enough. I call this color Pie Frost, inspired by your vibrant main coloring. Oh! So a lot of puff means a lot of color! <coughs> My mane! It's saturated! This will take hours to fix. Rarity, your mane looks amazing! One of your best looks! Really? You don't think it's too much? No! I want to try it! Pinky, darling, your mane is already pink. That doesn't do anything. When we come back, we ask the question, who would Fluttershy be in a wrestling match? Ten bugbear-sized manicores or one manicore-sized bugbear? Stay tuned and keep living that pony life! The taste of magic, the aroma of alchemy, the crunchy textures of ethereal forces that defy explanation. Well then, this segment is for you. It's time for Pinky's Potion Challenge! <laughs> With our guest host, Twilight Sparkle! Hi everyone! Let the challenge begin! Pinky, it's not really a challenge. You're just helping me figure out what these different potions are. I never got a chance to label them. And what a challenge it is! Gummy is at the edge of his seat! <laughs> I'm going to help by drinking them! Are you sure it's... It's a great idea! What do you think? Should I drink this? Okay, but just a little bit. You don't have to drink the whole thing! Wow! <laughs> You're all so tiny! And my voice sounds so awesome! This potion tastes like... chocolate. Try this one. Wow! You're so tall, Twilight! Oh, and your voice is so high! Wah, wah, wah. That tastes like this. Why don't we take a break? No time for breaks at the Potion Buffet! There are more to try! I love this challenge! Oh, that tasted like peanut butter! and bubble gum. <laughs> that tasted like vanilla. <laughs> and popcorn. Um, Twilight? Well, that's the end of Pinky's Potion Challenge. I'm gonna go get her. Gummy, you're in charge. <laughs> But before I introduce her, we have a fun surprise. Our question of the day. <clears throat> what is the name of the swamp that Apple Bloom goes through to make her pie delivery? Oh, I know, I know. Let me think. Swamp Sprinkle Fire. No, no, no. Hmm. Donut Swamp. Oh, that sounds yummy. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Oh, I have no idea. Now I'm hungry. What's the answer? Lame Geyser Swamp! Oh, I was so close. 
close. But guess what? The best part of the show is happening right now. She comes with Flash, Phillies and Gentle Colts. It's Rainbow Dash! Hi, everybody. It's great to be here. Huge fan of your show. Really? I didn't know you watched. Yeah, I may have glanced at a few. And now it's even more awesome because I'm here. You're welcome, ratings. I have a stupendous and adventurous surprise game for us to play. Are you ready? I was born ready. What do you got? It's time for the Eclair Jenga Challenge! Our goal is to pull out an eclair without knocking down the tower. We take turns. Whoever knocks down the tower loses. But the winner gets to eat all of the eclairs and be declared the most awesome eclair player. Talk about a sweet victory. Let's do this. After you. <gasps> yes, I own this game. Eat it. I just did, and it was delicious. I'm going to glaze through this challenge. My compliments to the chef, which is me, and I am good. Oh, I want to eat them all. Mm. Pinkie Pie, they call to me. It's just so good. Pinkie, are you OK? Speak to me. Congratulations, Rainbow Dash. You are the most awesome Eclair Jacob player! And these perfect pieces of yum belong to you. Hey, Pinky, I can't eat all these by myself. Will you eat them with me? That's our show. Give it up for Rainbow Dash and Tony. Stay tuned for our next episode where we play buckball with pumpkins. It gets very messy. Keep living that pony life. about the color pink. And you guessed it, pie. <laughs> and just like sweet and wonderful pies, we have a sweet and wonderful friend joining us on our show today. Want to give the audience a hint, Gummy? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Phillies and Gentle Coats. I give you the princess of friendship, Equestria and Books. The one with the hearts, the smarts, and the belly full of French fries! <laughs> Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> Hi, everypony. It's great to be here. I'm excited to be teaching a friendship class for all of you today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you aren't teaching a friendship lesson, silly. Oh, what are we doing then? Get ready for... limits of Twilight's knowledge of the ponies in Equestria. We will show her different pony silhouettes. Twilight has to guess which pony is which. If she gets it wrong, she gets a pie in the face. And pies are delicious. So it's a win-win either way. Wait, what? Let's start the game. Name that pony. Easy, Big Mac. OK, OK. Can you name this one? Trick question. That is not a pony. That is Spike. Right again. Okay, this one's tricky. Oh dear. It's either Flim or Flam. I can never remember which one has a mustache. Um, Flam? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer is incorrect. <laughs> Here, have a pie. Try again. Fine. Flim? Oh, I'm sorry. That answer also incorrect. Here, have another pie. Oof. Who is it? It's Trixie with Flam's hat! See, told you it was tricky. Wait a second. Oh, would you look at the time? That's our show. A huge thank you to Twilight. Put your hooves together for her, everybody. Good night, everybody, 
and keep living that pony life. Mm. Blueberry. Hello, every pony, and welcome back to Hello Piggy Pie. The sensationally, educationally, and rotationally most awesomest show ever. But that's just my opinion. We've got an amazing show planned. A very special musical guest has graced us with her pony presence. She's the queen of the beat, giving our ears musical treats. Star of rock and roll, maker of cake casseroles, DJ Palm 3! And she has a new song for us today. to get scratches off a table. You need a bowl of nuts, walnuts. I think it's because they help cover wall scratches. That's why they're called walnuts. <laughs> so they probably work on tables too. Step number one, chew up the walnuts. Step two, spread them out. Step three, use your hooves and stab them into paste. Oh, and you will need goggles for this part. Step four. Take the paste and smoosh it all over the table scratches, like paint. Step five. Add some glitter to give the table some pizzazz. Step six. Take cover! <coughs> Ooh, sparkly. And for the very last and most funnest of steps, <laughs> use a super duper big fan to dry the glitter and walnut paste. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! That was a breeze. Now 
now you can't see the scratches. Who knew that walnuts were so magical? How did yours turn out, Gummy? Wow! Way to go, Gummy. It's beautiful. You'll have to show me your secret next time. What does every pony think? How did the table turn out? I think the after table has personality. Stay tuned for our next episode where Gummy shows us how to make a cupcake catapult. <laughs> Have a great night, every pony! <sighs> it's tough when you're stuck inside all day. But there are so many ways to bring home the fun! Create a masterpiece! Practice yoga. Uh, a little help, please. Check in on a loved one. Gummy! My day was really exciting. Well, you were there too, of course, and we did some yoga. And you combed out my mane. I wonder what happened to that brush. We did back flips, and then we did another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip, and another back flip. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hello Piggy Park. <laughs> Special guest, Phillies and Gentle Coats. It's the fashionista, the beautiful artista, Rarity. Thank you for that very lyrical introduction, darling. I'm thrilled to be here. I am too. Now, Rarity has been working on a super secret project. Can you tell us about it, Rarity? As a matter of fact, I can do more than that. I would love to show every pony. Let's take a look. It is the dawn of a new era. I have invented an app that will revolutionize not just my business, but the world. Introducing Rarify. You can plan new designs, help pick fabulous new wardrobes for clients, and do virtual makeovers for any pony. Rarify does it all. Now for my favorite part. Let's give a makeover. First, the eyes. Bigger. And of course, one must have long, lustrous eyelashes to bat one's eyes with. Then, a few hoop embellishments. Perfect. Let's adjust the braid. Oh, Rarity, your mini you look so cute and mini. Let's add a bit of volume to her mane. And voila. New look. She's so precious. I love it. Thank you. I made one for each of us. We look adorable! <laughs> oh, for our next book, why don't we add in a little bit of this? Oh, and some of this? And some of this? Uh, when will every pony be able to use Rarified? Oh, my. As soon as I make it Pinkie Pie proof. <laughs> Good luck with that, Rarity. Stay tuned to see Rarity perform a 20-foot drop into a vat of pudding. Uh, I'm not doing Keep living that pony butt. Outside of Equestria, Valentine's Day is celebrated in different ways around the world. In the United States, Valentine's Day is the time of year when you declare your love with chocolates and flowers. In China, people celebrate Valentine's Day by visiting the Temple of the Matchmaker, and some provinces decorate an ox horn for good luck. In Wales, Valentine's Day is called Dwenwin's Day, in which humans give each other hand-carved wooden spoons called love spoons. In Brazil, people celebrate Dia dos Namorados, or Lover's Day, a huge festival to celebrate love and friendship in the form of a big party. I love parties! We celebrate
celebrate something special in Equestria called Hearts and Hoofs Day. A day for ponies to show their loved ones how much they mean to each other with cards and gifts. So in honor of Valentine's Day, Dia dos Namorados, and Twin Wins Day, I'm going to make something for a very special Sundummy. It's time for Craft Corner. I need the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to craft a personalized card for my Valentine. For this, you'll need a few simple tools. First, you cut a heart shape out of a piece of card, like so. Perfect. Next, you wrap some lace around the edges like this. fluttering already. And now for a personal touch. Add a little embellishment. A dash of sweetness. A pinch of care. A generous helping of sugar. A drop of hot. And the final touch of love. Happy Valentine! Is this gift for me? Oh. <clears throat> My dearest Pink Amina, through the endless march of seasons, not the falling leaves of autumn, Why, nor the kind star granted that are ever yours. <laughs> yeah. Stay, stay tuned for our next. C keep living that. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hello, Pinky Pie. This is my super duper fantastically awesome show where we cover all sorts on topics like, what is the best jelly bean flavor to feed a hummingbird? Or, how to turn mashed potatoes into the comfiest pillow? Or, how many rainbows can fit into Gummy's mouth? The answer is, a lot of rainbows! This is an extra spectacular show because it's our show! <laughs> A lot has happened here in Equestria. King Sombra destroyed the elements of Harmony. Then we defeated King Sombra, then we defeated Queen Chrysalis and Lord T-Rex and Cozy Glow and Grogar. But technically we didn't defeat Grogar because he was Discord. Dun, dun, dun! Never saw that coming. Anyways, all of our friends helped us save every pony from the Windigos by pulling together, and it was super duper magical. Then Princess Celestia and Princess Luna retired, and now Twilight is leading Equestria. <sighs> And do you know what the best part was? I got to test out Discord's Chaos Magic, and I made chocolate rain! The most delicious rain in all of Equestria. <laughs> it was super delicious. I need to ask him for the recipe. Anyway, we got an amazing show planned for you today. And to start it off, let's take a look at Gummy's outfit of the day. Gummy! Gummy is wearing the classic clown wig, accentuating his jawline, and big red shoes, and an orange jumpsuit, showing off his beautiful skin color. What better way to celebrate the new year than with this celebratory look? And boy, does he pull it off. Look at how excited he is. Guess what, Pony? He's single. I personally like the classic party hat. The more of them you wear, the more celebrated you look. And the best look in the world is the one you wear when you're having a party! <laughs> we have a lot to celebrate as we close out the year. And now it's time for the Ultra 5 Best Moments from This Last Year! <laughs> Warning! Spoilers ahead! Spoilers are like surprises you didn't ask for, but surprises are also spoilers you didn't ask for. So, guess what? Spoilers ahead! <laughs> Isn't that great? Let's get this Ultra 5 Best Moments from the last year started! Moment number five, Frenemies. Sure, they were not the nicest, but 
glad they started to find friendship in each other. I just love how Cozy Glow Lord T-Rex and Queen Chrysalis all work together. They even sang a song together. BFFs in the making. Wish they could have made it work. Oh well. Moment number four. The Last Crusade. This next one is a tearjerker. Oh, oh, I love this part. The whole town comes together to celebrate the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Best party ever! I will not cry. I will not cry. Oh, I'm too late. I'm crying. It's so beautiful. Let's do a less emotional moment. <clears throat> moment number three. The last laugh. Who doesn't love spending a day with Cheese Sandwich? I was so excited when Cheese Sandwich got his laugh back. He's so talented and so funny. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> He's hilarious. Gets me every time. Moment number two. The Big Mac question. Are they the perfect pair? <laughs> pair? Oh, oh, look. Applejack got all choked up. AJ, you big softie. And those singing apples really tied in the whole apple wedding thing. I'll have to ask Discord if I can borrow them for a next party. Now, the moment you have all been waiting for. What moment got the top spot for this year? Introducing moment number one. The ending of the end part two. Let's take a look. Oh, I love this part. Starlight Glimmer did a great job protecting the school of friendship. Oh, oh, and this part where we all work together to stop Lord T-Rex, Cozy Glow, and Queen Chrysalis. Oh, and this part where I got to make chocolate rain. Oh, and this is when we all ate donuts together. Nothing like a tasty treat to bring every pony together. That was beautiful. Lots of great adventures and magical moments have happened this year. So many friendships, so many parties, and so much productivity. Isn't that right, Gummy? Oh, Gummy, you're right. It's time to ring in the new year. Those are so sparkly. Let me try. Oh, this is great. Uh, I think they're singeing my mane. Yep, better take care of these. Stay tuned for our next episode. Who wore it best, Flip or Flam? Until next time, Happy New Year, everybody! Hello, every pony. It's me, Pinky Pie, and this is my very own show. Hello, Pinky. Before we get started, on the drums, he's a gator, a creator, a beat generator, the lemon cola of rock and roll, Gummy. We've got a really fun show planned for tonight. Mr. Waffles is... We've got a really fun show planned for... <laughs> gotcha now! You can't trick me, Mystery Box! Now, reveal your secrets! <laughs> Gummy, can you hear that? <laughs> oh my I've got to show Gummy this. Gummy! Gummy! Did you see this? <laughs> Stick around for Joke of the Day, where we're going to find out what did the rainbow say to the mustache. It's not what you think. We'll be right back. 